Dear children, look at this textbook. This is the new English textbook for 7th class students of AP state. This year onwards, our AP state government is going to implement new syllabus for all 7th class students. Our English syllabus is divided into two parts, semester 1 and semester 2. Semester 1 has four units. First unit is My Painted House, My Friendly Chicken and Me. In this video, we are going to learn the reading part of our first unit. The title is My Painted House, My Friendly Chicken and Me. Children see here, this is the reading part of our first unit. My Painted House, My Friendly Chicken and Me. Let's start our lesson. Hello stranger friend. I am Thandi, an indibili girl in South Africa. I am 8 years old and my best friend is Chicken. Okay, here the speaker is Thandi. Who is Thandi? Thandi is a little girl. She is 8 years old. She was born in South Africa. She was born in Ndebele tribe. What's the meaning of Ndebele? This is a name of a tribe from Zimbabwe and Northeastern South Africa. And Africa la unna twenty South Africa Zimbabwe desa la unna twenty. Vaka konda jati pradal peri di Ndebele. This is a name of a tribe. Okay. Here see the first very beginning line is. Hello stranger friend. Who is stranger friend here? What's the meaning of stranger friend? Stranger friend means new friend, an unknown friend. Okay. The opposite word of strange is familiar. Okay. Here who, who is stranger friend here? The reader is stranger friend. Who is the reader? You are the reader. So you are addressed as stranger friend by Tandy. Okay. He is address she is addressing you. She wants to tell something to you. Okay. You may laugh at that. Here, before that, you see this line. My best friend is a chicken. Who is her best friend? Her best friend is a chicken. You know chicken? Chicken and take a code. Chicken is a name of a bird. Kodi and tangada. Male chicken is called cock. Female chicken is called hen. H E N hen. So, here, her best friend is a chicken. You may laugh at that. And take a man Kodi than friend ain't any. Chepisi, even koda, I pap on the manto. You may laugh at that. On hearing that, you may laugh. Nu novukovachu. Okay. Bosha nu novachi vini. When I tell my friend secrets, she can talk all she wants. But, of course, it is a chicken. But, whenever I tell stories, whenever, whenever I tell secrets to my friend chicken, she can talk. She can talk, she can speak all she wants. Than kedi ne, yedi na chita ad matar tu ne unto the nato. Okay, and then after that, whenever November then, November then I tell some secrets to my best friend, chicken. But no one can understand her, which means she makes some sounds only. Actually, she can't speak. We know that a bird, a chicken can't speak. No one can understand her. No one can understand her means nobody can understand her sounds because those are not words. Those are uh, the, the, that is not a clear language. Okay, who can understand her words? Of course. Another chicken, okay. Of course, another chicken. Another chicken. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, we know that a bird can understand the words of uh, other birds. So, see the second paragraph. My chicken listens to my stories. She has other uses too. Okay. Now and then, Tandy used uh, Tandy used to tell some stories also. Does her chicken listens to her stories? Yes. Her chicken listens to her so stories also. She has other uses too. Two means also. She also has some uh, other uses too. That means that chicken is very useful animal to Tandy. And a kuni opiogal koda one ayanta. Tandy ki a bird wala. Okay. If you play with her and take her mind off what's going on, you can quickly, very quickly snatch a feather or two when she is distracted. If you play with her. She tells us, if you play with my bird, take her mind off. What's meaning of take her mind off? To make someone stop thinking about something. What's going on? That means not concentrating on something. Okay? Because here, her best friend, chicken, is concentrating on their play, on, on its play with the Thandy. She doesn't notice any other one. What's going on there? Then, what does Thandy do? Very quickly, she snatches a feather or two when she is distracted snatch snatch means take hold of suddenly or forcibly force ga force ga in chasa di thandi she uses to uh, she used to pluck one or two feathers from that uh, chicken and a what will either end ventricle on take the feather means thana body made on a 20 paksi ventricle on matter what knee 
ప్లక్ చేస్తుంది స్నాచ్ అంటే అది టేక్ హోల్డ్ ఆఫ్ సడన్లీ అండ్ ఫోర్సిబుల్లీ ఎప్పుడు వెన్ సీఈజ్ డిస్ట్రాక్టెడ్ వెన్ సీ హ్యాజ్ నో కాన్సన్ట్రేషన్ వాట్స్ గోయింగ్ ఆన్ దేర్ బికాస్ ఇట్ ఇట్ కాన్సన్ట్రేట్ ఇట్ కాన్సన్ట్రేట్స్ ఆన్ ద ప్లే విత్ తాండీ దెన్ తాండీ టేక్స్ దట్ రైట్ చాయిస్ అండ్ రైట్ టైమ్ అండ్ ట్రైస్ టు ప్లక్ ట్రైస్ టు స్నాచ్ వన్ ఆర్ టూ ఫీదర్స్ ఫ్రమ్ దట్ చికెన్ ఓకే షీ డజెంట్ నోటీస్ అండ్ ఫీదర్స్ విల్ కమ్ ఇన్ హ్యాండీ లెటర్ ఆఫ్ కోర్స్ షీ డజెంట్ నోటీస్ హూ డజెంట్ నోటీస్ వాట్స్ గోయింగ్ ఆన్ దేర్ ద చికెన్ డజెంట్ నోటీస్ వాట్స్ గోయింగ్ ఆన్ దేర్ షీ ఫీదర్స్ విల్ కమ్ ఇన్ హ్యాండీ లెటర్ ఓకే విత్ ఇన్ విత్ ఇన్ షార్ట్ టైమ్ దట్ ఫీదర్స్ ఫ్రమ్ హెర్ బాడీ విల్ కమ్ ఇన్ టు హెర్ హ్యాండ్ ఆఫ్ కోర్స్ ఓకే దిస్ ఈజ్ ద సెకండ్ పారాగ్రాఫ్ కమ్ టు ద థర్డ్ పారాగ్రాఫ్ ఐ హ్యావ్ టూ హోప్స్ వన్ ఈజ్ మై నేమ్ thandi which means hope in my language in this paragraph thandi tells us that she has two hopes you know what is meaning of hope a feeling of expectation for a particular thing or a happen thing to happen okay a feeling of expectation aashalu antam kada here also thandi has two hopes one is my name one means the first hope is her name thandi which means hope in my language what is our language our language is i mean our mother la- mother tongue is telugu here also tandi has her own language that is bantu bantu language it is one of the official languages in south africa ndbili people speak bantu language in their bantu language what does tandi mean tandi mean tandi means hope all children are a hope for their families and many ndbli ndbli girls are named hope she tells us all children are a hope for their families isn't it it's right according to thandi all children you are also a hope for your families you are also i mean uh, your parents have some expectations on you okay here also thandi tells us every every family has some expectations on their children so many ndbli girls are named hope here so many ndbli girls are named hope in the name of hope they they have different names and the hope ane ardham ochela different different names vaallu pettukuntaranta okay adhe vaallaki ishtam if you like you can call yourself hope too in secret of course okay i call myself hope because i my name is tandi that is my first hope if you like you can call yourself hope nee kishtam aithe nuvu kuda hope ani peru pettukovachu nuvu kuda ala pilchuko tappe em ledu ani manaki suggest chestundi tandi suggests us that we can also call ourselves as hope especially if you are a boy of course especially if you are a boy try to call yourself as hope okay nee antatu nuvu okay oka vela boy aithe particular ga hope ani pettukodaniki try chey hope ani pilchukovachu tappe em ledu okay the other hope i have is at the end of this book i can say goodbye friend not goodbye stranger friend okay i already told you the first hope of thandi what's the first hope of thandi her name itself is her first hope here the uh, in the last line she mentioned the second hope the her last hope is she hopes that you would become a good friend by the end of the lesson after reading the total lesson she wanted to uh, she hopes that you will become a good friend to thandi okay in the beginning of the lesson you are addressed as stranger friend but uh, at the end of the lesson she hopes that she wanted to address you as goodbye friend not goodbye stranger friend which means she wanted to make friendship with you that is her second hope okay these are the two hopes of tandi mentioned in the in this third paragraph now come to the third paragraph i don't know why but ndbili people do not call anything beautiful here Thandi tells us whatever the beautiful thing is identified by the identified by the NDBL people around them they never call them as beautiful ante etuvanti andamaina vasthulu chusina vallu they never call them beautiful avu andanga unnayani chepparu okay manam antuntam kada oh, what a beautiful rose it is okay what a lovely scenery ila antuntam kada but whatever the beautiful thing they identified they found the ndbl people never call them beautiful i don't know why enduko naaku teliyadu antundi thandi manatho okay even that the best thing is described as good sometimes some best things untai like beautiful red rose ani 
లవ్లీ సీనరీ అని లవ్లీ రివర్ అని ఇలా ఉంటాయి కదా సమ్ ఆర్ బెస్ట్ థింగ్స్ ఓకే దీస్ ఆర్ వెరీ బ్యూటిఫుల్ టు లుక్ ఎట్ ఈవెన్ దెన్ దెన్ నెవర్ కాల్ దమ్ బ్యూటిఫుల్ అప్పటికీ కూడా వాటిని ఎంత అందంగా ఉన్నా కూడా వాటిని వాళ్ళు డిస్క్రైబ్ చేయరు ఓకే బ్యూటిఫుల్గా ఉన్నాయని చెప్పరు వాటి వాళ్ళు ఓకే ఆల్ ఇండి బిలీవ్ ఉమెన్ పెయింట్ దేర్ హౌసెస్ అండ్ ఐ వాంట్ యూ టు నో స్ట్రేంజర్ ఫ్రెండ్ నో వన్స్ హౌస్ ఈజ్ యాజ్ గుడ్ యాజ్ మై మదర్స్ ఓకే హియర్ ఆల్ ఇండి బిలీవ్ ఉమెన్ పెయింట్ దేర్ హౌసెస్ ఆల్ ఇండి బిలీవ్ ఉమెన్ అలాంగ్ విత్ ద అలాంగ్ విత్ హెర్ మదర్ ఆల్ ఇండి బిలీవ్ ఉమెన్ యూజ్ టు పెయింట్ దేర్ హౌసెస్ అంటే వాళ్ళ హౌసెస్కి వాళ్ళు అందంగా పెయింట్స్ వేసుకుంటుంటారు ఐ వాంట్ యూ టు నో you should know one thing i want to tell you something what's that my dear stranger friend no one's house is as good as good as my mother's i mean my mother is a good painter no one's house is as good as my mother's house my own house ante ma inte ma illu unnanta andanga evaru illu kuda anta andanga undadu ani cheptundi that means her mother is a good painter she paints very well okay she has started to teach me to paint good and very good designs who has started to teach her to paint good her mother because her mother is a good painter so her mother started to teach tandy to paint very good and to good uh, and very good designs also how to design different things ante designs veyadamu paintings veyadamu chakkaga teach chestundi vallamma garu tandy ki